Alice Springs, Australia Margaret Pestorias arrived at court last week in her wedding dress, a bright orange and cream creation painted with doves, peace signs and suns with faces. It's the colors of Easter, so I always think of it as being a resurrection dress, said Ms. Pestorias, a 53-year-old anti-war activist and devout Catholic, who on Friday was convicted of trespassing at a top-secret military base operated by the United States and hidden in the Australian outback. From the base, known as the Joint Defense Facility Pine Gap, the United States control satellites that gather information used to pinpoint airstrikes around the world and target nuclear weapons, among other military and intelligence tasks, according to experts and leaked National Security Agency documents. As a result, the facility, dotted with satellite dishes and isolated in the desert, has become a magnet for Australian anti-war protesters. Over the past two weeks, Ms. Pestorias and five other Christian demonstrators were convicted in two separate trials of breaching the site's security perimeter last year. They could face seven years in prison. In terms of actions like this, it's pretty basic. We are called to love our enemies, said Jim Dowling, 62, a member of the pacifist Catholic worker movement who was one of the protesters. Do good to those who persecute you. To turn the other cheek. Put up our swords all the teachings of Jesus on nonviolence. The trials and the Australian government's uncompromising prosecution of the protesters have put a spotlight on a facility that the United States would prefer remain in the shadows. Born at the height of the Cold War, Pine Gap was presented to the Australian public in 1966 as a space research facility. But behind the scenes, the station was run by the CIA. To collect information from American spy satellites about the Soviet Union's missile program. Since then, American spies, engineers, cryptologists, and linguists have flocked to Alice Springs, the small town closest to the base, to work at the facility. At least 599 Americans lived there in 2016, according to the latest census. Though their presence in town is low key, there are some telltale signs, a baseball diamond at a local sports complex, Aria cookies and Dr. Pepper in the supermarket, and beef brisket on sale at a butcher shop. Americans, from the time they came here, have never been isolated from the rest of the community, said Damien Ryan, the mayor of Alice Springs, who could remember a time when Americans in left-hand drive cars were frequently seen on the town's roads. They've been part of the community the whole time. The base is reached by a dead-end road, marked with a sign warning away visitors. Without clearance, the only way to see Pine Gap is by air, or by climbing the craggy ridges of the McDonnell Ranges that surround the site. Photos taken from the air show a sprawling campus punctuated by white geodesic domes that look like giant golf balls. Inside these spheres, called ray domes, are antenna systems that send and receive information from satellites in constant orbit above the Earth. The staff at Pine Gap was predominantly American until the 1980s, when the two governments, responding in part to public pressure here, made it about half Australian.